Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia and Spain. Here we farm. We need nature. The first down payment on dealing with nature is courage. And then the second down payment is uh, patience. We are doing that. I have received two bales of mice, maize, straw. This was purchased by the neighbor a year ago when there was nothing else during the drought. And the cattle doesn't actually like it, doesn't eat it. He paid 80 euros a bale like that. It's almost 500 kilos. I had to schlep them in here with the excavator. And I got them for a fraction of the price. They're also a little bit humid now, so it's not good to feed to the cattle. This wood chipper struggles with this consistency of this fibers, but it's okay. Patience, we are learning. We want to use um, this extensively after we've laid down the tubes for the irrigation to cover it. And also when we ha without chipping it and once we have chipped it to put it here in the garden it's much finer much easier to work so we are looking forward to this I have ordered six more bales and uh, it's quite cumbersome to get it in here but uh, I tell them just to drop it off here in front of the gate. And then the old giraffe will pull it where it needs to be. So it's working. This reminds me of the story when after the Second World War, when the USA asked Europe, what do you need? And uh, the local Europeans, especially Germans, said corn. And uh, they received tons and tons of, of corn, mice. They wanted wheat, that is the European word for corn. So a huge confusion. And uh, the farmer's wife's parents can still recall how their parents struggled to find out what to do with this. And they had to design and come up with clever cooking procedures to process the corn, American corn, and not the European wheat. Anyway, in some cantons in Switzerland, it's still illegal to feed this to cattle because they say it's not good for cattle. Here in the propagation area with seeds, farmer's wife is spraying this high sand content soil mixture. The other pump already broke, so we have to use the tiny one. But it's looking good. <laughs> Usually she sings when she's in here, but uh, <laughs> now she's shy. <laughs> here in the sandbox for cuttings propagation, I have spread some of the chipped U.S. corn, European maize, maize in Spanish. Uh, I'll just keep this, doing this every month. 
it's looking great I've also fed these plants through the leaves and this holunder the elderberry already flowering and another story due after the Second World War people had little and to be able to put some flavor to this mice they didn't order they received they used to take these flowers and boil them and uh, add it to the mice and uh, in that way they could eat it this is springtime end of the rainy season I think that we will not get more rain until October. I hope we do. But it's looking great. We are thankful. Come on doggies, let's go for a swim. Sky, ears up. This area belong, below the pond wall used to be wet a lot of seepage taking place but uh, now that has stopped so uh, I hope it has settled but uh, this pond was still a miracle that it worked one pond one sex success Nobody in there? Sky? Sky? Sky is not interested right now because he's more interested in other things. Reading the daily snuffles. Ah, there he goes. Snuffles newspaper. Good boy! And uh, it's suggested by a community member that I place my uh, thermometer in a plastic bag, go to the middle of the pond, drop it down, and then measure the temperature below the surface, 30 centimeters down. Good, bring it. I like simple ideas like that. Brilliant. In a community like ours, it is imperative that we have somebody who rejects something completely, like don't mow, don't cut, don't roll, just leave it because in that process you also cut the uh, home oak saplings and then you have on the other hand somebody says cut it all, mow it down, fire hazard your whole farm will burn down. Now a community exists between these two poles. We need both of those people, both of those sides to look at the something and then myself and the rest feel safe within the confinement of the two extremes i just don't want these two extremes to attack each other or talk to each other no just talk to the group i will talk to you individually it's not a complaint it's just to how life works so, people on the extremes, you are very well appreciated. Keep sharing, keep saying what you think, and uh, we will feel safe in the middle. When somebody says, don't cut, and somebody says, cut, then I have the freedom to start cutting, and 
identify the holm oak saplings first, mark them and cut around them. And also start at the borders, clear it from uh, the fence line, two meters or more. Should there be a cigarette butt thrown out of a window, then at least it might help. Beautiful sharings, beautiful community, beautiful nature. We're alive. Let's enjoy it. Till next time. Goodbye.